All right, let's get it. This is Nap Nose Buffalo, and I am very happy to welcome back my co-host after it's only been two weeks, but uh, it feels <laughs> like it's been longer than that. I'm sure it feels like it's been longer than that for you because you've been loving life, but also you've yeah, been learning I mean, an entirely new life. Like what, Casey, what's up? Yeah. Tell us how your life has been and uh let's we'll, we'll have know, to work through how we're going to do this because i think i think we're going to have life updates from you every week uh, for sure and like you know i i i was sitting there thinking like typically i tell what's been going on in my life and uh, i haven't been doing much you know my daughter's here she she cries a lot which is to be expected and then she sleeps a lot and then um and she has grown man gas let me tell you <laughs> like grown man um but it's just, it's amazing. It's really good. Uh, just a quick update. My wife was in labor for 60 hours um, and then had an emergency C-section. Um, so like talk about being on pins and needles and just being terrified the whole time and just nervous and scared. And But everything's fine. My daughter's here. She's healthy. Um, my wife is a trooper. Uh, she's amazing. But no, man, I haven't been doing anything. The days kind of run together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I could see that. I mean, I don't totally know what you're saying because I don't yeah. have a kid. Um, so I haven't yeah. been there, but I could totally understand how the days would run together. You're probably getting what, like two, maybe three hours of sleep like at a time. I, I wish. Dude. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> so no, she she typically like in like right about this time at night, she'll sleep for about two hours, which is great. Me and my wife will spend a little bit of time together. We'll watch a movie together. Uh, and then she'll wake up. And then from there, it's every hour she's waking up. And then we're going to sleep. And then she's waking up. And then we're going to sleep. So we might get like 30 minutes to 45 minutes at a time. And sometimes like, um, you know, I'll, I'll stay up and I'll feed her. And I won't wake my wife up. And then like last night, I didn't go to sleep until 5 o'clock. I just could not sleep. And I woke up and it was 10 o'clock in the morning. And I looked at my wife and I was like, you've got to start waking me up. Like we are in this together. And she's like, but you need sleep. It's like I'm not doing anything. Like you need more sleep than me. So um, it's it's been a joy. It's been a joy. I mean, I haven't showered in like three days. So I've I mean, got you look the same. I'm just, uh, you look the same. <laughs> <laughs> and, that is, and that is because I only shower on Sundays. So if anybody's wondering how I get this, this look, it's you only shower on Sundays. It was good do enough you, for them so back in the you, 1600s. Do you only shower on Sundays like in prep for the show or is that just like a life thing? Because I, I would, it would make sense if you're trying to prep for the show and like, that's the look you're going for, but <laughs> you got to shower no, more than that, man. Come on. No, it's a, it, if it was good enough for him in the 1600s, it's good enough for it's me. good enough for so you. It's good enough for me. <laughs> what they call you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's it. I guess that's, that's probably where your tiger fighting attitude comes from too. Um, so, yeah. So I, I think what we have to do going forward every single week, okay. we will probably, I mean, we always start out the show with like your life update, my life update real quick. I'm moving this weekend. It sucks. <laughs> Hate it. Hate doing that, but it's a necessary evil sometimes. So I am moving this weekend, not looking forward to it, but I'm looking forward to the new place I'll be moving into. Um, Saturday is going to be terrible because I think it might rain while I'm moving. So moving and like carrying a ton of stuff out of the apartment, then back into a new apartment while it's raining. That's just not going to be fun. Um, it never is fun anyways, but that's, that's really all I have going on right now. Other than uh, we found, a venue. You, I, I think I told you that, but we did find a wedding venue no, too. No. So the only thing that you've ever talked to me in the past two weeks have, has been like, what promo do you like better? Uh, what about this graphic? <laughs> I have no idea what's been going on with your life. I, I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to burden very, you with my life because you have a whole lot more going on in your life right now. Yeah. My wife said the other day, I don't know what we were talking about. I was like, the only person I've talked to today is Kyle. And he was asking me about gambling. Like, I have no idea what's going on right now. Um, are you moving in with your uh, significant other? No, no, not uh, not this time. No, no. That will no. be the next move. I was, yeah. I was about to say, big life changes there. Yeah, life that, changes. That'll, be a, that'll be a big life change. But yeah, so we, we're moving in next time. So that'll be, a, whatever, about a year from now, maybe-ish around that. Um and we found a date though found a date for the wedding found a venue all that good okay. stuff and now we get into the real fun planning and we'll see i mean i'm sure that's going to be stressful i like it's it's going to be an awesome time once we get there but all the planning leading up to it everybody i've talked to has been like yeah man that part's just not that fun uh i just i just let my wife i didn't know what our wedding looked like until i showed up <laughs> 
But and and we're laughing about it. But literally, she would be like, "What do you?" I'd be like, "I don't care. I honestly don't care." And then like, very we very down. on brand. Well, we sat down. We had a conversation, and I was like, "Sweetheart, this is your wedding. Like, whatever you want to do, you go ahead and do it. And I will foot the bill. We will move on from it, right?" And I literally showed up. It was the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. I was taking pictures. I never take pictures of anything. I'm taking pictures in the venue. Like it was, it was great. So I don't know. It wasn't part of that planning. I don't. I think I'll be a part of the planning, but it's not really going to be my decisions. It's more like tagging along type, <laughs> thing, type thing. So that's more what I expect to do. But that still means it's going to be time consuming for me. So I got to be able to get, plan for that. Before we get into because this is a Buffalo Bills podcast, not that anybody listens to it. Um, before we get into Buffalo Bills stuff, let me just give you some advice. When she's asking, "Do you like this one or do you like this one?" Always bring in a third option, but be like, but I actually like this one, which is the first option she gave you. This way, she thinks you're paying attention, but she gets what she wants, and it's a win-win situation for everybody. That is, I might have to try that one out. That's that's a little pro tip from Casey there. No um, pro tip. So as, as I'm pulling up it. the topics. I've never used it. You have okay. Well, really, then, I've, what is this? You're, never, you're trying to just throw me to the fire here. Hey, hey, hey. I've never used it if my wife is listening to this. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. All right. Um, real quick, as I'm pulling up the topics, because we have we have two topics that we're going to discuss before getting into our interview later on. Um, give me Didn't your favorite thing about being a dad so far. Man, that's a tough one. Um, I've always wanted to be a dad. So just to be a I was told I didn't have kids and to sit down like today I was laying in bed I had my daughter in one hand my wife was laying on me on the other hand like that was bliss like that's all I've ever wanted in life and just to have that moment and to know when I get done talking about the bills and, and shooting the shit on YouTube I'm about to go downstairs and I'm going to go and see my daughter and she can spit up on me all day long she can it'll be gassy she can scream she can cry it's not gonna phase me and it's weird that I, I say that it's not going to face me because it doesn't. Like, just scream if you want to scream. I'm going to calm you down. I just want to be there for you. So just being able to have the opportunity to be a dad, I think, is my, my favorite part about being a dad right now. Oh, look at that. Casey Reed, dad oh. of the year. Oh. Dad, oh, of, dad the of the year. year. <laughs> Give me the cup. <laughs> yeah, I can't. I can't. You're going to get a mug just dad of the You are. You're going to do all those, like, stereotypical dad things. Oh, hell I can yeah. see it already. Hell yeah. yeah. All right, so Bill's topics, because like you said, this is a Bill's show. For anyone who doesn't know, it's a Bill's show. Um, Bill's show. There was some big news today. I know this is coming out Friday, but today, Wednesday, big news. Fred Warner, he signed an extension with the 49ers. Huge extension. Five years, $95 million. The reason I bring this up is because the Bills have a linebacker who eventually we're going to have to start talking about an extension. And yeah, this deal... Yeah, AJ Klein. Um, so we got to figure out like how are we going to rework and extend AJ Klein. But what? So Tremaine Edmonds, his deal eventually I think is two years left on it because they picked up yeah. the option. But they got to figure out an extension if they want to do an extension, how they want to work the extension out. But this deal just resets the market. Five years, ninety-five million. It's an insane amount of money for a linebacker. Does this change your thought process at all going into any sort of talks um, or consideration of do we sign admins to an extension or how does that like, how does this, if it, if it does at all change your approach to that? I am not like a cap figure, a salary guy. Like I'm not, that's not me. Um, but if you're, I, I just did the math on the calculator. So if I'm wrong, it's the machine's <laughs> fault, not mine. But like Edmonds is not worth 19 million a year. Like, yeah, we can get that was my first thought too. about that, but he is not worth 19 million a year. Now, does he go out and he balls out? When's his stuff come up two years from now? If it'll he, be, if he comes two out, years, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if, if they just put it off, right. And they let him play throughout this contract. Cause I mean, they might do that with the way he's been good, but he hasn't been that stellar 95 million, you know, contract guy, you know what I'm saying? But if he comes out and these next two years is just all pro like, no, of course I don't mind paying him 19 million, but he's not getting 19 million on average well, per the, year. The thing is though, like two years from now, he might, like it's very possible That's because fair. we know like s contracts always go up and this resets yep. the market. There's going to be another new deal probably for, I don't think Darius Leonard is resigned or extended his deal yet. So that'll probably be one that, that 
bumps it up. Has he? I don't remember. He's younger. Whatever. He's younger than Edmonds. Like either he, way, he's the year after Edmonds, so he's got a few years. Yeah. E- either way, though, like there's going to be multiple new deals that end up bumping that number up. Where like we're probably going to end up being around that number when it comes time for Edmonds extension. And I didn't bring this up because I'm like, man, we got to, we got to get Edmonds deal done. Now it was more because like when I saw that deal, I was like, damn, like that's a lot of money for a linebacker. We already have a lot of money fake, like it put into the, the uh, salary cap for Matt Milano. We're going to have a new deal coming up for Josh Allen. Eventually Stefan Diggs yeah. is going to need an extension. Maybe. Like, we're going to, yeah, maybe we might, we maybe. might give Allen a deal. We'll see how maybe. he plays. Um, but, but like, we're going to have to figure out how to work all of that out. And Edmonds has a lot to prove before we actually get to the point of like, yes, let's go ahead and extend him because he like, everybody can say it. He had a down year last year, whatever the reasons may be injury other guys playing out of position that kind of hurt what he does whatever he had a down year so he's got to get back to that 20 what 2019 level that he was at because he was much better that year if he can get back to that level and then kind of keep progressing over the next two years who knows like maybe we are talking about a 19 million a year contract for admins but i don't know how that all fits into the salary cap for the bills at that point in time it's it's going to be weird do you give him five years though does that not seem five years long feels like a lot but at the same time like that's that's the way you're going to be able to keep those per year numbers down probably because they're going to like players are going to want guaranteed money and i i fully back like go get your money we've said that before we've said that before go get your bag when you have that opportunity but for a team's sake, for team building, it does help to have those those longer contracts. And the way Brandon Bean has been really good about structuring them is if he does do a contract that's a little bit longer than you might expect for somebody, those last like year, two years, the Bills are probably going to have a way to get out with minimal damage. So I'm not as worried about the length of contract as I am the guaranteed money. Well, what, what I was going to say is it kind of makes sense for Edmonds because um... – uh oh, I got uh, so I have I have a baby monitor and it goes off. Mm-hmm. So it just said my daughter is crying. So, yay! Um, but it makes sense for Edmonds because like he's younger. So to give him five years, you're kind of like locking him up during his prime. So I take back my previous statement of saying, do you want to give him five years? Yeah, we'll see. There, I know there's a lot of people who are still really, really down on Edmonds, and he does have a lot to prove. But he has all the potential in the world, all the skill, all the physical traits to be able to hit the ceiling that he would need to hit in order to actually get that kind of contract. But obviously he's got to put that play together on the field much more consistently than he has so far. So that'll be something to watch because that deal is going to impact linebackers all over the league. Uh, The other topic that I really wanted to talk about because rookies reported to training camp today or yesterday, whatever it may be for the bills, rookies they're in Buffalo. They're getting ready to go. I know training camp doesn't officially start for the team until next week, but the rookies are there. Which rookie are you most excited? Rookie or rookies, we could talk about multiple. Are you most excited for in preseason and training camp? Like, who are you watching the most? I mean, I think that one's obvious for me, right? It's, it's yeah, got to be I mean, it Spencer is. Brown, right? It's got to it's it's, be. I mean, it's uh, the love of your life, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, no, I'm very excited to see what he can do. Um, he's, I mean, he's not like a skill player, so it's not going to be flashy. Oh, my goodness, he made this catch or he broke this tackle, blah, blah, blah. But just to see where he stood with taking a year off and working with uh, Joe Staley for the whole year, blah, blah, blah. See how he's progressed from the senior bowl to the preseason of actually getting to work and getting into that mindset. So very serious or curious to see where he stands, um, especially if you see him as the future, right? The future right tackle. So, yeah, that's my guy. So with him being the guy that you're most looking forward to, most excited about, I, I, that, I anybody who's listened to this, I don't think that surprises them no, whatsoever. It shouldn't. it shouldn't. I knew you were going to give that answer, but I had to ask the question anyways. What are you actually expecting from him since he is the guy that you're most excited about? Because obviously, like, there's questions that you want answered, but what are you expecting? A good consistency um, to still see that mean streak. Like, I want to see that mean streak, uh, you know, when we run the ball. I want to see it. Um, 
but I also don't want to see sloppy football. So I want to see the consistency and nothing flashy. Just do your job, still show that mean streak, and, and show that you are going to progress. That's that's really what I want to see. I don't have to see him uh, pulling like crazy and, and running down the field. Like I don't have to see that. I don't have to see a lot of pancakes. I just want to see consistent footwork um, and just to show that he's progressed since the senior bowl. That's the biggest thing for me. And that makes sense. I think for a guy like him, it's going to matter much more what you see in like the preseason games because he's probably going to get a good amount of time in the preseason games. Correct. As opposed to some of those vets that obviously we're, we're not really as worried about, like, where are you at personally? Like, they won't have to worry about that as much. He's probably going to be a guy that we're watching a lot during the preseason games to see, like, are you, are, are, were you worth this third round pick at the moment? Which, Obviously, we're not going to officially know the answer to, but there's going to be a lot of people making those snap yes. judgments about it right away when they watch him play. So I'm hoping that he can just silence everyone from the start. Um, but I do expect there to be some ups and downs. Like we're going to hear some stuff about him that's like, oh, well, maybe he had an off day or an off couple days or whatever, because he's a rookie. He's going to make some mistakes and whatnot. But they drafted him because he has a really high potential with his size and his athleticism. So I, I'm excited about that too. I think the guy that I am the most excited about is actually Carlos Basham. Pause for dramatic effect. No, I was just waiting to see if you had anything to say there. I wasn't pausing for dramatic no, effect. I, no, I didn't know if you had anything that you were going to drop in there. So I, I the reason I'm excited – well, he's the most pro ready guy, right? He yeah, should be that's starting, what I was right? Say. And that's that's what you expect from him. Now, if he doesn't do that, then like I yeah, I th I think there's we're gonna find out a lot about him early on. And even if even though I think he is the pro most pro ready guy, which is why I'm the most excited to see what he's gonna do in camp and in the preseason, because I think we could see an early effect from him before like everybody else that the Bills drafted. Not the highest ceiling, but the earliest actual production. I think we're going to know within the first preseason game if he is going to be able to make an impact week one. I, I honestly think that. And I'm not saying like be a three sack guy week one, but I think if if he comes out in the first preseason game and he just looks ready to go, whether he's playing against starters or backups, I don't care. He doesn't have to get sacks. He doesn't have to like if he just looks like he's ready to go doesn't look like he's a step behind or anything like that. I I think that's going to mean a lot for him just week one immediately because that'll tell you right off the bat, this guy that everybody's saying other than like one media outlet, this guy that everybody's saying is the most pro ready. Yes, we were right. He's the most pro ready. Might not have the highest ceiling, but he's going to make an impact right away. So that I'm really, I'm ready to see that. I think, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out with the other defensive ends too in camp, because obviously with uh, Basham and with um, Rousseau, that's, that's two extra guys in that defensive end room. Like they got to figure out how the numbers work out and it's not going to be Jerry Hughes getting cut despite um, whatever may have been oh, said no, on this no, no, show. No, no, no. Like, no, a no, couple, no, no, it, no. it was like a month ago. Uh, I, I, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pump the brakes. Hold on. Before you do what you're going to do, because I know where you're going to go with this, I only threw that out there as like a 99% not happening, but like what if type of scenario. That's it. It wasn't because, and I clarified that on the show. It was not because I said I actually thought it was going to happen. So I want to just throw that out there before you do whatever type of spin zone you want to <laughs> do. Go ahead, Casey. The floor so is yours. Uh, when, when, and if he does get cut, right? Um, which, by the way, can I just rant about the offseason? He's going to get quick? extended. Yeah. Yes. Can this, I get Jerry Hughes is going to get extended? It. But go ahead. Yes. Hey, can hey, shut up? Just can everybody <laughs> shut up? Like, oh my goodness! Like we are finding the littlest things to bitch about right now. We and are. I, we I've, are. I've I've tried to stay off Twitter. Like legit, try to stay off Twitter. And it's normally like the early mornings when I can't sleep. My wife's asleep and the baby's asleep, and I'm having to stay awake. Right. Um. And I get on Twitter and I, I do the whole open up the door, look in, shut the door really quick because it's just a bunch of people bitching. Like, yeah. shut up, shut up. Have you hey, have you shut up. have you muted people? No, you dude, are, are you a big like I mute no, people, I block like, people. I won't, I don't do that. So like no, I, I, I understand if people want to do that, that's fine. That's up to them. You control your Twitter experience. That's not what I do. I I'm I'm just gonna unfollow you if I really don't want to see your stuff. Oh. 
Be careful there. I had a guy stalk me when I unfollowed him. So <laughs> let's let's not get into that on the show, huh? <laughs> so I mean, the the point I was trying to make is like like it's the off season. So any little thing that happens, like if I don't know, if somebody goes to the Shell gas station, and we're a BP team. All of a sudden, everybody's freaking out and saying that Sean McDermott has lost the locker room. You know how many times I've heard Sean McDermott has lost the locker room this season or this off season just because stupid stuff. Just stupid stuff. Devin Singletary ordered a taco instead of a salad. Sean McDermott's <laughs> lost the locker room. Like, oh my goodness, can we shut up? Can we just shut up? Can can that just you know be what shut was up? crazy? I, I mean, up. this this kind of goes along the lines of like people just trying to create headlines because it's the off season. Yeah. It was, I think it was like a week ago, maybe, maybe sometime sometime around then. It was one of the last posts that the podcast put out. And I think it was Bobby said something along the lines of like asking how long you would let McDermott go without getting to the Super Bowl before looking for a new head coach. Like he was trying to say that McDermott like should be on a short leash pretty much. It's oh, well, like, I mean, and I, that's, uh, I'm sure that's not exactly what he was getting at, but like, that's, that's what it sounded like when he said it. And he was like, like, I, I think I said like five years for like Herm Edwards. He, he didn't beat the Patriots for like five years, but he retired. So it was a little different. So Bobby was like, oh, so like this is like the last year where then you maybe we start talking about it. Like, no, that's not what I was saying. Don't try and twist my words here. But like, people, but like that's, that's what people, people are trying to just create stuff and create stories and create headlines. And the show might have been a part of it every now and then. We, we might have put a couple things out, but which is maybe maybe a couple. <laughs> Um, no, but I, I mean, I just uh, Bills Mafia, and I, look, I'm a Florida State fan. I'm a Memphis Grizzlies fan. I'm a Nashville Predators fan. Like I have other Braves, I'm an Atlanta Braves fan. I have other fan bases that I'm a part of. Right? I go really hard into the Bills. Right? I really love the Bills. You know, sometimes I watch a Braves game. I definitely watch hockey every now and then. Stuff like that. You know, are we the most can this be a graphic? Buffalo Bills, the most dramatic fan base. Can that be a graphic? Uh, maybe yeah, we, we might it. have to we might have to do that. I don't know. We just we'll just rank the most we, we don't even have to have any like stats. We can just source our like we'll source some random thing that doesn't exist and we can just say based on these numbers that don't actually exist, here's the most dramatic yeah. fan bases and put yeah, the bills yeah. at the top. All right, so let's let's workshop this so that let's, anybody who actually listens, listen. they can they'll know what's going on. But who do we want to put on? We'll put the bills on there. I think we gotta put like some uh, no name teams that aren't active really. No, 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 the Cowboys. You got to put the Cowboys on there. They are a bunch of bitches. Okay, well. yeah, we'll we'll put the Cowboys on there. So we'll put Bills. We'll put Cowboys. Um, do you want to do like a top five for this? Yeah, let's do let's do top okay. five. Real we'll quick. do a top five. Yeah. So we'll do Bills. We'll do Cowboys. Um, let's throw a random one in there that doesn't like just doesn't impact anything. You want to do like the put the Panthers Chargers, in there? I don't know Panthers. Sure, why not? Okay, we'll yeah, put the somebody... Panthers. We'll put the Chargers, and then who's another team that would be like a, a good team? That we could put it. Maybe we put the Packers in because they got a whole lot of problems was, going on right now. I was thinking Green Bay. I was, like, I was thinking what Green if? Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could do that. So that's, or we could try so and create it. problems in the division, and we could throw a divisional team on there. Well, here's the thing: like uh, the Jets don't like their fan base. I don't really see a lot of, and and maybe it's because like I don't, I don't have a lot of fan friends who are fans of the Jets. But like I don't see a I don't lot of drama. But he has a lot of friends who are fans of the Jets. Yeah. I mean, if you do, you probably born into it. I have, like I have one. Thing. I have one. Yeah, but like, they're not like causing controversy just randomly no, out not. of nothing. You know what I'm saying? And dolphins, they, dolphins fans don't do that. Now, you want to talk about people who just want to complain about anything? Patriots. I mean, pa- Pats fans. That's what I was thinking. Maybe we throw the Patriots. Anything. Maybe we throw New England on there as the number five instead of Green Bay. Uh, then let's take out the Chargers. Let's okay. do Green okay. Bay. So let's do number one. Um. Bills, number two, Cowboys, number three, uh, Panthers, right? Uh, number four, Green Bay, number five, um, New England. Pat. Okay, I like yeah. that. I like that. We'll, yeah. we'll put that graphic out at some point. Everybody who listens to the show, they'll know what's going on. Anybody who follows who doesn't listen to the show, I hope somebody gets upset about this. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, have to, we'll have to figure this out. Who do we want to source? Do We, we got to make up somebody to source for this. Just put a random URL up there. Like, what are they gonna do? Go to the website? <laughs> That's true. I mean, if it's if it's a graphic, they can't click on it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Cool. We'll do that. Yeah. 
Yeah, uh, we'll we'll have to get that figured out. We'll have hey, our hey, uh, we'll have our yeah. Is, we'll, Kendall will have this, to work on that. This is what Kendall. This is what you'll need to do. Uh, put like a uh, a website so people can go and donate. So they're like really pissed off and they click on it. And it's a it's a uh, donate to this foundation whatever website. So now they're like ah mad, but like they got me. They got me real good. Now they're donating. So we should do that. Kendall, get on it. Would it be a problem if the if Kendall did like poor Kyle in Ohio? Donation. <laughs> Put your cash app. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, he'll, well, he'll have to work on that yeah, or something. He'll, he'll get it figured out. Um, yeah, we'll workshop it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get into the interview now. We actually haven't even done the interview yet. Um, the schedule was flipped. Normally when we have people on the show and then we do an intro, we like to talk with them first and then do our intro. But uh, schedules got a little changed up last second and we ended up having to move things around. So we did the intro first, but we are going to have on our second player interview. We're about to hop on with Reed what? Ferguson. I know it's crazy. What? Big time. We're making it big time. This, this is two, two in a month. I think, yeah, two, two players in a month. So might just keep that rolling. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so we're going to talk to Reed Ferguson. I have no idea how the conversation is going to go. I have no idea if he's going to like us. We'll see. Uh, well, I think I me think and Reed will. Me and Reed are oh, good yeah, friends. Oh, yeah, you have so talked to him. Don't before. worry about it. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah so BFF, if, so. if he remembers, yeah, yeah. If he remembers you, we might have to see how he thinks your interviewing skills were before. When? When he when? remembers right. me. That's going to come back to bite you. That's going to come back to bite you. Don't be dumb. Right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get into the Reed Ferguson interview now. All right, let's welcome on now a very special guest, long snapper for the Buffalo Bills, Reed Ferguson. Reed, what's up? What's up, fellas? Thanks for uh, having me on. Appreciate it. Very excited. This is actually, we were talking about this in the intro um, before you got on. Um, this is the second time you've talked to Casey. Uh, I, I heard yeah, that I mean, he we're, interviewed we're you best before. Friends. Do you remember him? Uh, <laughs> I know I'm putting you on the spot here. It's okay is, if you yeah, say you no. You are putting me on the spot. I uh, off the top of my head, no. Yes, uh, there we go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, well, point, for, don't, me. point for me. I don't. <laughs> was it was it on a podcast? It was on a podcast. We did not go face to face, so I didn't get. Oh, a okay, I was about okay. to say now, that, that now might be. Now, we, now I feel bad. What it was? <laughs> we didn't. We didn't get to go face to face. You would never forget the beard. Um, no, it can't. no. Uh, but now, now you're into you're into podcasting now, and I just want to know, like, you're so talented. Like, you're you're talented, right? Let's let's not get it twisted. You're in the NFL. You're on an NFL team, right? And you're talented. Why are you coming for uh, Kyle and I? Like we're not talented people. We don't have we're, much we're in not, our lives. like at all. And and now you want to corner the podcasting game? Like what's up? What's yeah. Up yeah. Um great question first of all. Uh two My brother and okay. I just kind of want to have somewhere we can get our thoughts out there. I mean, you guys you guys are are no different. I think uh we're, we're very different. Oh, 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 come on now. You are much more talented than us. First of all, <laughs> no, no, like, no, we no, are no. very different. No, no, no. I'm a, I'm a I'm a I I I'm trying to think of the, the word. I uh cl I closely I identify with what we called in college or I say we I didn't use this term. It is a term. It's called they, you know, you called NARPs. People called NARPs, not the non-athletic regular that, yeah. people. I identify with the NARPs. Are you are you calling us NARPs? <laughs> I'm calling myself one. It's okay. You can call I, us. You can call want, us. No, no, no. Please. I want people. I am no different than anybody else. I am not. I, when people say, "Oh, Reed, you're a professional athlete," I'm like, "Yeah, use that term loosely, loosely, <laughs> right?" So anyway, no, we're we're uh, we're having fun with it. We're like I don't know. I think we're like thirteen episodes in. We're having a good time. So I, I honestly haven't looked at the numbers. I don't even know how many downloads we have <laughs> recently. So uh, we're well, you know I, I'm sure right now it's like just our family. But well, you do have that one guy that has been trying to get you to be his friend for the last <laughs> yeah. like forty five days. Yeah, um, how's that Dang. going? Uh, Dang. Does he have your personal <laughs> number yet? No, he doesn't. We have DM'd a couple times. He uh, we're he gave me some. I said he he said what do you what are we gonna do for day sixty nine? I was like it, it has to be. It. Well, no, no, no. Of course not. Uh, I was like it has to be 
Like you have to make it worthwhile because six. I mean, he's been at it for like you said, forty something days now. I haven't seen tonight's. I know it came through. Um, I saw the notification <laughs> while I was at dinner, but um, he's been at it for you know a, a month and a half. You know, six weeks, seven weeks now. So, I I want to make sure that it's worth his while. I feel like it would be it. We can come up with something good for the both of us to kind of you know make it fun for the people that have been following along. Cause apparently he's been, I think he's been like updating. Uh, like he's gained a ton of followers, a lot of people interacting on regular basis with the tweets and stuff that he puts out every night. So um, he, I said, give me your best three ideas. So he get, he, he, you know, he gave me his best three. So we're kind of, we're working, working some things out. I, I, I told him, I, I was like, I was transparent with him. I was like, look, my schedule is about to get, super hectic, you know, starting, you know, the 27th and I won't have a ton of time. So we need to kind of be creative with it, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. You got to wait 24 more days. I'll forget about it by then. I'm excited <laughs> to see where, what he does with that. I think that's, that's going to be yeah. very interesting he to some, see what he, he does some for good day ideas. 69. He had some good ideas. Apparently, he said he started a podcast. I haven't, I don't know. I don't know if that was like a, a thing for the for the Twitter trend or, or not, but he said he started one. I have not listened to it, but anyway, we'll see. So, you you started a podcast this off season. What else have you been doing this off season? Like, have you been going on vacation, just relaxing with the family? Like, what have you been up to this off season? Then we'll get into some football stuff. Sure. Yeah. So uh, this off season, uh, I became a dad. First time dad. Oh, congratulations. In, uh, April 11th, my daughter was born. Our daughter was born. Uh, but yeah, so that, that that kind of took up the majority of leading up to the birth. And then post, you know, kind of, you know, like those leading up after the season, she was third trimester. So we're kind of, uh, you know, I was trying to, to comfort her and tend to her as much as I needed to while still like working out and we were kind of, we stayed up in Buffalo this off season, the first time that we have done that. So uh, I had to buy a snowblower. So that was fun. We had a blast doing that a couple of times and yeah, no, I mean, we, we kind of did some things around the house, put in a, put in a little home gym in the basement. So we, we made it worthwhile, but it was good. Keep myself now, busy. I do have a question. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know you had become a father and I was joking around with my wife. I was like, Hey, I'm going to interview Reed Ferguson here in a minute. And I just became a father like two weeks ago. Right. A Congratulations. Girl. She's perfect. Thank you. Uh, she looks nothing like me. Thank the Lord. <laughs> um, she's, she's amazing. Right. But she's very gassy. So I was joking around with my wife. Right. And I was she like, got that was from like, you. Yeah, she did. 100%. No. So <laughs> I, I told my wife, I was like, what, what do you think I should ask? What do you think I should ask him? You know, what questions do you have? And she was like, ask him if, uh, Ask him if, it, if he has kids, and if he has kids, ask him what to do if his uh, child won't stop burping. And I was like, oh, that's a good question. So do you have gas problems in your family, and how do you, uh, how do you stop that? <laughs> I would say um, – I don't know. There is, some, there is a medicine out there. I know, there's a, I know there's medicine to make it come out, and I know there's medicine to make it stop coming out, So, like Imodium <laughs> or something. So – I don't know if there's baby emodium. If you, need to, <laughs> if you need to clog the pipes there for a little bit, you know, it might want we to need a, research, We need to flush but, it out. We need to yeah. flush it out right now. She yeah. is gassy and crying and does not enjoy in life. But that's, yeah, that's, I don't, my, that's my one question now. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, our, our baby, question? yeah, our baby is the perfect baby. So I know you said yours was perfect. I'm going to say mine's perfect because I am supposed to say that. So uh, what we can do is we can put them in. An octagon, yeah. We just bought them out. I mean, yep. it's the That's only, fine. only we're thing a couple we months do. ahead of you, so I think we've got the advantage. Yeah, well, my money's my money's on Reed's kid. I'm sorry, uh, Casey. My, my daughter's throwing haymakers. She hit me today, so <laughs> just saying. Could, been, could be it, it has been a fun learning experience. I will say that. I will say that. So that that's been a, a busy off season for you then learning pretty busy. much like an entire new lifestyle while still training and everything. Yeah. Um, so that's that's gotta be hectic but fun, like all kind of wrapped in one. Yeah, yeah. Uh you pretty much hit it spot on. Hectic, uh, but fun, kind of all, all at the same time. Uh 
my my wife is in the middle of three sisters and her sisters both have kids uh, already so young young kids so kind of following some you know getting some advice and stuff like that so uh, has been good for us to kind of walk us through these first couple months so far but uh yeah it's been fun uh challenging at times but uh, if nothing's challenging then you won't gain anything from it I mean, you have plenty to learn in, in the process of being a dad. So obviously, like plenty, everybody plenty. always will. Um, so I got to so, learn how to buy some some dad shoes. <laughs> are you are you are you, are you be at, like Air Monarchs? The the Air Monarchs or the or the white New Balances, one or the other. They're I think coming. New they're balances, coming soon. They're coming soon. I think New Balances might actually be like trending. Like they might be a little cool at this point. You might not be able to actually go with the New Balances. Whatever's less that might that might not cool. be allowed as a dad anymore. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever's less cool <laughs> is what what that 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 company is getting my money. I I like that. You and Casey will have to try and work that out together and figure out what dad shoes you guys are going to get. Uh, we'll we'll talk offline. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> um. So so some football questions because we do obviously want to talk football. Um. Yeah. Just start on, like right off the bat. Why? Why long snapping? Like, how did you get into being a long snapper? And then why are you so good at it? <laughs> uh, perfect practice makes perfect. Um, I was. That's a good quote. Yeah. Practice doesn't make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Um, in eighth grade, I, I started playing football in fifth grade. Um, I was like a uh, tight end, defensive end, never really played on the field because as we mentioned before, NARP. <laughs> so uh, I was just trying to find my way onto the field somehow. It wasn't happening. So in eighth grade, the guy that played center and long snapped, uh, he got injured. And we were kind of like, hey, you know, my dad said, well, why don't you try, you know, why don't you give it a shot? What's the worst that could happen? So uh, we started practicing for a couple weeks. Uh, won the job, did it for the eighth grade team, kept practicing, going to a couple camps. The the varsity snapper at the high school that we were the feeder team for, he was, we worked with him a couple times. He had gotten a scholarship, so I was able to really like lean into him, learn from him on some things. Uh, like I said, going to some camps, getting some good instruction, and you know more more. I mean, waking up early, you know, to practice in the garage before school staying after practice, working on snapping. I, mean, I was kind of like dedicated to it at that point. So, uh, sna- you know, snapped all the way through high school and then uh, got got a offer to – got a couple a couple offers coming out of high school, went to LSU for four years, and then I've been here, uh, here in Buffalo going on six. Playing at LSU, I wasn't actually expecting to ask this question, but playing at LSU, how – Hyped is the stadium when the band plays neck. Uh, it's the it's the best stadium on planet Earth. Okay. Okay. Not in the NFL. <laughs> I'll say that because 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 you got, got to save yourself a little bit. I know. <laughs> well, of course, high, high, well, I call it a high mark now. The Ralph. I'll call it the Ralph because everybody calls it the Ralph. Um. I firmly believe, and this is not fan lip service whatsoever. I've played at a lot of stadiums in five years. When we have a packed stadium, we go head to head with anybody, anybody. So, um, yeah, okay. So, college stadiums, LSU is number one for sure, like far and away. Full stadium, you know, Saturday night in Death Valley. Hands down, it's a, it's it's one of the best game day experiences you could have. That always looks like a really cool atmosphere to be at. Just whenever they yeah. have like a Saturday night, and it's it's the nighttime games too. Just make it yep. even like just that much more better too. Yeah, like the like the two thirty CBS game is is great. It's, it's always super hot, right? Like it's right. always going to be super hot in like late October, early November in Baton Rouge. But uh, Saturday night, six thirty kickoff, can't beat it. 
I, yeah, I mean, it, it seems like that unexpected detour there, but I'm glad that that came up. What back to long snapping? What is yep. the either the hardest thing about long snapping or something that people wouldn't expect or like wouldn't really know about being a long snapper? Um, I don't know how many people realize that we control the rotations on like a field goal snap. Mm -hmm. So as like, as long as the punter or the holder is catching it in the same spot every time, it's, it's really on me to control, to control the laces. So I think people think I've heard, I've heard people ask like, or people on the broadcast, you know, like, Oh, well, the laces were backward you know the laces were facing the kicker the the holders got to get it spun around and it's like well that's most of it is on the snapper the holders got like 10 percent. but so, so that, you, that brings me to that's yeah, just the first thing are, are you are you looking for and that that is definitely something that a lot of people don't know um when you kind of scroll through twitter when there is a missed kick um I think Casey and I are going to have to do a great job now of being like, hey, that wasn't Reed's fault. If there's ever a missed kick and someone's like, laces worn out, like, no, no, it wasn't Reed's fault. Something else happened there. We got your back. I promise that. <laughs> you and my parents. <laughs> Deal. Yep. Um, now, uh, speaking of the, the holder and everything, we have a new punter in town. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So how does that work? Right. You're, you're going to have to get down the chemistry of him catching it. Or is there really no chili? Um, good question. We have, we, we've been able to get together through OTAs and stuff, uh, for a couple weeks back in like, uh, May and June, uh, for mini camp and whatnot. So we, we, we were able to get a lot of reps in, uh, with Matt, Tyler and myself as, as the operation goes. So, uh, it's, it's been good so far and we were going to, we're about to get a heck of a lot of reps here coming up in training camp. So, uh, well, we sh we should have it all ironed out by the time the season gets here. How long does that? How long do you think that takes? By the, Casey, you're muted, so I'm sorry. Um, but no, how fine. long? I, I okay, how long That's, does it usually take to road. get that together when you have like a, a new person holding for you? Does that is that something that like an adjustment that is pretty easy for other people to pick up, or is that something that like takes a lot more time than you would think? Um, I, it probably varies. I mean, obviously that's kind of like the easy answer, but I think if mo most teams snap the ball at, or, or the, the, the spot is at eight yards behind the snap behind the ball. So, you know, it, it you know, there's only a couple of, there's only a couple of variables as far as when you put a new punter in there, a new holder in there, you know, where does he catch it further out? Does he catch it further in, mm -hmm. you know, is his, you know, is his knee on the spot, or, you know, on the spot line? Is it, it, does he like to take a knee in the, in front, you know, it, even though he brings it, he may bring it back when he catches it, he may bring it back to the spot, uh, different variables on, on his end, but there's also variables on our end to, to keep, keep the snap speed the same, keep the location the same. Cause if you snap it hot, if you snap it a little higher and hit him in the head, you might get an extra half rotation. If you snap it low, you might not get, you might get an extra rotation, like one half less rotation. So mm -hmm. uh, some of those variables just, it, it takes a little bit to iron out probably not long just because like Matt's a vet guy. He's been in the league for a handful, you know, four, four years, I think now. So he's, he's familiar with, uh, they they went through a couple snappers uh, now you know now my brother down there now but uh, kind of in his last couple years so he's had to learn learn a couple new a couple new ropes if you will uh -huh. uh, in terms of having the, making the operation go smoothly but he's done a great job. Speaking of your brother, um, are you in a group text with all the other long snappers in the league? Uh, no, no, actually I, that would and, be, and that would be awesome, but we're not, it's, it is a little fraternity. We're all, we're all, uh, a fan of one another, but, uh, and support one another, but no group text. Well, that's disappointing. Um, and then I have one, <laughs> if I had said yes, <laughs> did you have a follow -up? 
<laughs> I, I would have. I would have had a follow up. Um, okay. But that's, I think that's you need fine. to ask your follow up anyways. No. Uh, that, yeah. So that's what I, I, that's I think what you got to ask your follow up. Yeah. yeah. I was just going to say, like, you know, if all 32 of y'all are in one group message, right? And then, like, you know, it starts getting to the playoffs. Y'all start talking mad shit to each other, especially right after the game. Imagine being after the game, right? And it comes down. You need, you know, three points to win. You're down by two. He goes, they miss the field goal, and it's because of the long snapper. And then you get back to the locker room, and you check your phone. It's the long snapper from the other team in this massive group chat <laughs> with all the other long snappers. And he's just like, suck it. Right. That's like, when you like, don't check your phone. <laughs> That's when you just throw your phone in the garbage and walk away. <laughs> just walk away. Just walk, walk away. away. Yep. Um, no, I, I was I, I was actually gonna say with that, it would be very funny that like you have that entire group message, and yeah. then like when the playoffs come, you just kick everybody else out who's not. Oh, in it. oh, start like that. Would, that would be like a suck ruthless. it moment. Yeah, ruthless. Um, now I have one last question. Uh, can't you tell that me and Nap are rusty? Um, I've had two <laughs> weeks off because of a baby or something. Uh, Nap tried to replace me and he couldn't. So here I am again. <laughs> um, I have one last question that I have to ask every single person that comes on the show. And I know that you listen to Nap Knows Buffalo every Friday when it comes out. You're a big fan. Of course you Huge. are. Um, so you have been waiting for this question this whole interview. And I'm, I'm here to give it to you. Do you think that I could take a Tiger 1v1 in a fight? If in a gladiator style fight, if I had say a little bit of a little bit of a knife. Um, speaking, <laughs> well, you, you asked the right person because LSU has a live tiger on campus. I could beat its ass. So, well, <laughs> I'll t- I'll take that bet. Okay, <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I'll take the bet. There we go. We got another one back on my side. I'm very happy so we, that you said that. We got another person back on my well. side. Well, how we many, did, how many times has that question been asked? A lot. Yeah, we're very popular. Yeah, huh? Your, your <laughs> teammate, your teammate, Antonio Williams, said yeah. yes that Casey could beat a tiger. Yeah. Yeah. So. So. What percent? I would say ninety nine percent would say uh, no. From the people that's been on this pod, it's actually been pretty good. I mean, it's been. I would say 60, 40, 60 wow, saying that surprises 60, me. That 60 makes me feel no. like my answer is wrong because I like. Oh no, you're, being your answer on the optimistic. No, side. no, no, your answer you're, is right. It's one hundred percent right. right. It's, yeah, it's wrong. Right. Um, it's wrong. Don't worry about it. Um, it's fine. Whatever. I think Casey's gotten a late push because he he tries to get that sympathy vote of like I'm about to. Well, it, now he is a dad, <laughs> yeah. but like uh, I I'm about to be a dad. Like that's he's. I don't know. That that card before. Now. He's he's got dad strength now. But he's yeah. new to the dad strength. He doesn't have like the real like. It comes automatically. No, I no it does. It all comes right, on. Right. So you don't understand. You this. I, yeah, hospital. no. Yeah, hands up. I don't hospital. understand this yet. I'm I'm not so, a dad. I don't get this part. You it's leave so the funny. hospital with the dad strength. It's so it's so funny that you said that because literally like okay so my wife bless her heart she went sixty hours through labor and then emergency C section oh it was a, it was rough it was really rough Plus. for us, um and I was not allowed to make jokes the whole time right which is fine not. understandable right. It gets done like she's probably she's exhausted. She just gets out of C-section. She's looking great. I finally cracked my first dad joke to her. Right. And I thought you were going to say me. you cracked your first beer. No, 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 no. I cracked that would first not dad be good joke. for Casey. <laughs> my wife just looked at me. Um, well, I cracked the first dad joke and I looked at her and I said, you know, it's funny. As soon as she was born, I just felt this power sweep over me. Um, and she was like, you got your dad powers. And I was like, I got my dad powers. So, yeah. Now, nah, nice. shut up. Well, nice. look, congratulations for getting your dad powers. Both of you. Because, I mean, Ray, Reed, <laughs> you got your extra dad powers this offseason. Is, yeah. is that going to help with long Ooh. snapping? Like, is, now that you have your dad strength, <laughs> are you going to be able to get the ball back there a little bit faster? A couple 100%. extra rotations per second, maybe? Like, how does that 100%. work? 100%. Yeah, I had to, I had to, um, I had to take that into account when, I, when, when Matt signed. I was like, "Hey, I'm flinging it a little extra hard now. May want to catch it a little closer to your body." So, got to learn to have some soft hands, Matt. Like yeah. I just got my dad strength. That's exactly right, <laughs> Casey. <laughs> you did have a question. We were talking beforehand. You did have a question in terms of. Uh, I, I mean, just, I did just have do a question. It. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. So I had this question, Reed, and I've seen I've seen the videos of like the trick shots, you know, uh, where they set up the camera and then all of a sudden, you know, blah blah blah. Um, My question is, is how often do you pass gas when you go to get into the stance to become a long snapper? It has happened. I think think that's my final (laughs) answer. 
<laughs> have you have you ever I, this just this just totally not came in a game? Oh, it has okay, not well, happened in a game. Because okay. I was gonna say, like, have you ever had it happen in a game and somebody jumped offside? Like no. that would be <laughs> what I, I will tell you what one of the things I am most afraid of, and I and knock on wood that it does not happen. Um I am af- I am afraid of sneezing when I'm in my stance because I feel like they would call that on me for, for <laughs> yeah, moving. The, yeah, I feel the like they would call yeah. me for like for like flinching and trying to like catch the defense offside. So yeah. Anyway, do you think do you think if that happened is, like all at is once? not on my mind? Do you think if it happened all at once, it might you might get a little extra oomph on the snap? That's a good question. Hundred percent, two hundred percent. That plus dad strength. Oh <laughs> yeah, Matt would need to start wearing some gloves. <laughs> put a, just put uh, just put Diggs back there at that point because he's used to catching balls from Josh Allen can, at this he point. He can like, kick. Yeah, he can kick. I think. Um, so my, my last question, or it's not it's not really a question, it's more of a request, right? Okay. Um, so I'm sure you're used to requests when people come on shows and you know all this other stuff. Um, when you do happen to score an NFL touchdown, right? This year, it's going to happen this year. It, it has to happen it this is. year. It it's will. It will. Speak um, it into existence. Absolutely. Um, when you catch that touchdown pass, right, um, in a fake field goal, just like in Madden, um, from – from Matt, of all people, um, you have to dedicate that touchdown to the Napnos Buffalo podcast. Noted. Antonio is going Noted. to do it. You're going to do it. That, that, I just Noted. want to say, Casey, I don't think I don't think that was a clear yes. So you, you're going to have to pull back on that question <laughs> next time. <laughs> He's he probably got so many lined up that he has to dedicate the touchdown. <laughs> yeah, to. Right. <laughs> I I I have had a I have had a dedicated touchdown celebration okay. for many years and i have it cemented in my mind like that's what i'm gonna do when i score a touchdown okay right? so then dibs on the second one that's fine i hope or there's a third. second one I hope there's, <laughs> I, yeah that's great uh i'm i'm hoping that i can just remember when i score i hope that i can even remember the one celebration that I've want to do for the, that I have wanted to do for most of my adult life. So is it if I can remember to do that celebration, I can probably remember to dedicate the touchdown to the pod. Is it something you've ever practiced? Like, do you stand, have you ever stood in front of a mirror and practice that celebration or is it more something that you're going to say or like, it what would is that? require a very long mirror, long horizontal okay. because it's a running. Yeah. All I'm right, not well, standing in place. Definitely looking forward to seeing. I've already thing. given away too much. Yeah, no, no, no. not going to push any more because we, yes. we want to keep some of it a secret. Um, some of, most do. of most of the secret of the celebration has to do with if I keep it secret long enough, I will eventually score. I like that. Yeah, you, yeah. Eventually, you like the longer if you I, hold if on if to I the tell secret, people, it has to happen. If I tell people the celebration. It's never going to happen. You think if you brought it up to coach, you know what I'm saying? Not telling him the celebration, but just letting him know, like, hey, I've had this. Like, I think he would if approve. There's, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, if there's garbage time, it, can we draw up a play? You know, if oh, it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't that's happen. That's a good call. You know? Yeah, I've been, I, I've been. Um, you know, last year was second year as a captain. I feel like, you know, maybe I have a little more say. Or your bone. So if you if you slip a note under Dable's door, I feel like at some point he's gonna well, be like, like, "This is kind of a good idea." I'm like, hey guys, if I make captain again this year, can can we do this play? Right, we're yeah, up, right. We're yeah, up yeah. three touchdowns in the fourth quarter. Can we, you know, just we got field goal from the ten yard line? Can we just do this? So we'll maybe see. it's week seventeen or week eighteen against a, a division rival or something like that again. Yeah, yeah. you never know. Yeah. Um, I My do brother have, wouldn't be too happy. So that that's kind of where I was going to go. I do have two <laughs> more questions. Um, yep. First first question is kind of like a multi question question. Um, one, how cool is it that you and your brother are both in the NFL? Two, 
how do, like how does it feel to get to play against him twice a year because you are in the same division? Um, and then three, who does your who do your parents root for? Not no split jersey answers here. We can't do a split jersey. Who no, pick picking? a favorite. I have, gotta, pick. Number, I have a good answer for number three. So number one, uh, it's it's one of the coolest feelings I think, um, just because there. I mean, the, you think of how many guys have played this game throughout history, and then how many of those guys have been able to share the field with a blood relative. Like that is so cool, yeah. and the fact that, like you said, we play each other in the division twice a year like that is amazing so uh it's also amazing that we're 2-0 in the ferguson bowl so far so that that that, that is help. that's rubbed into his into his face a little bit um question three who do the parents root for all i'm gonna say is on my mom's split jersey i have the left half and Blake has the right half. And what what jersey covers her heart? That makes sense. It's all we're, I'm we're, so we're yeah. It's you all don't I'm have saying. to say it, but uh, we know saying. that your mom is rooting for you. Yep. Yeah. She's been rooting for the Bills a lot longer than she's been rooting for the Dolphins. Let's just say that. That's there, fair. I, yeah, that is fair. So, there's there's fair. you're not saying anything negative about. No. The dolphins or your no, brother in that scenario is just positivity, guys. Yeah, I'm here to spread very positive positivity. Yeah, so I like that. Yep. I like that answer. It's a it's a very good answer without giving the direct answer there. That was a very professional answer. They call that coach speak. Yeah, yeah, that was very. Sean McDermott would appreciate that. Yes, he would. Um, <laughs> all right, last last thing, and we did this with Antonio when he was on. Got a very unexpected answer from him. <laughs> uh, we found out that he was born with six fingers. I'm not sure if you knew that. You're kidding. No, no, he was born with six fingers. He just dropped that at the end. Um, so you'll have to. Well, you'll I, have to I ask had the him same look. That. Yeah, this is I had the same look. <laughs> if you're expecting me to top that, there's no. Way. I was gonna say. That, uh, well, what I was gonna say is <laughs> you're not gonna be able to top that, but. Just give us something random. It could be literally anything. It could be football related. Oh, my goodness. It could be. And I know this is very much putting you on the spot. Don't worry about trying to top that. But, like, I had to let you know you have a teammate who was born with six fingers. Oh, my goodness. I I don't even know. I, this is – oh, man, I wish I had a head – I wish I had, like, a head start to think about it. Uh, come on, now. That's this a, is a podcast that's a, every Friday. I know. That's a great – um. <laughs> Oh my gosh, six fingers! I'm like dying to ask him about it now. <laughs> I, I think I think I might have. I think I might. I should have probably waited to let you know about that because now your mind is just stuck on I that. I know, and I uh, totally. I messed I this know. one I don't up really, for you. I think. Like I said, dude, I am just a normal guy, so I don't really have any special powers. Oh man! Well, you have dad well, strength. That's a special well, power. Dad strength. So, well, dad we'll put strength. it this way. We'll put it this way. What is something normal that not many people know about you? Just a normal That's, thing. Yeah. There we go. I, I sleep with five pillows. That's not. Is normal. there is there a reason? That's not normal. Why no, I sleep it's not. With two. I personally I use two. So uh, it's a it's a comfort thing. Do you have a? Do you, do you just have like a sleep pillow? sitting straight up? Like, yeah, no, 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 no. I sleep up? like no, no, no. They're like around me. Oh, you're in, okay. You're in the pillow palace. It's like a cocoon. Pill yeah. palace. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So so yep. we're we're in the trust right here then. Um, yeah, yeah, when I good. was younger. I used to do something similar, except for not only would I <laughs> sleep with like five pillows, I had probably like 10, Stop. 11 pillows. And I would use those on top of the blanket because I didn't have a weighted blanket. And it would like give that weighted blanket feel. A little nice. Bit. You just want to feel like someone loved you. And I understand that completely. Yeah, no, I, I needed like those that. pillows that make, you know, they make the pillows like this. Yeah, the, yeah, so the you can like pillows. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 right <Yes>. yeah <laughs> of that yeah yeah um Great. all right so, yeah not six fingers but five no, pillows. not six fingers but five pillows yeah yeah i mean I'll what's the it. next best I thing can't is five wait pillows. to see antonio next week <laughs> check out i mean you're check gonna his hand yeah yeah I, i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna be like what do you know which hand it was no i have no idea didn't, didn't i'm just gonna that. like i'm just gonna go hey man what's up 
I so here's the thing though. I like, do think that it might have been his right hand because we were talking about it after I was like, and, and this was kind of kind of dumb. I told him that he should have told the doctor to keep the finger. I mean, he was an infant. How could he have done that? But yeah, we were talking about like you're never gonna fumble the ball if you have six fingers. So That's I think exactly it might be his what right I was hand. thinking. Yeah, I think it might be his right hand. Interesting. Yeah, so you'll have yeah, to you'll have to ask, ask, ask him. him about that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No doubt. All right, cool. Well, this has been a lot of fun. I think people are going to love hearing this. Um, real awesome. quick, plug your show. If you have any charities you want to plug, go ahead, plug those two for our, our listeners so they can sure. get involved with anything that you're involved with. Yeah, so I'll plug two charities, uh, the Punt Foundation. Uh, they do. I, I've been working with them for uh, pretty much my whole time in Buffalo. Uh, it's, a, it's a foundation that works with kids that have pediatric cancer. Uh, they're, they have an office downtown and at, uh, they do a lot of work at Oshai hospital, the children's hospital. So, uh, I, I make sure to donate to them every year. They do some great stuff. And then the veterans one-stop center of Western New York, they do a lot of good stuff with, uh, the veterans in, in the area uh, and the surrounding, uh, communities of Buffalo. So, uh, I, I did my cleat. I've done the, my cause, my cleats a couple times, uh, once for, veterans and twice for the punt foundation or uh, once for the punt foundation. So, um, you know, t- those are, those are kind of the two I'm most, most involved in, but, uh, and then plug in the pod, of course, after the snap pod, uh, where, like I said, I think we're 13 episodes in. So, uh, Twitter, Instagram, after the snap pod, you can find us there. And then myself snap flow 69. Nice. Yeah, that that, that actually go. works perfectly there. Nice. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Um, so let me get a go, Bills, and then we'll close it out that way. We'll start with you, Reed, and then we'll go around. Go, Bills. Casey, don't do this. Go, Bills. <laughs> I hate you so much. Go, Bills. Go, Bills.